Hola, everybody. Are you ready to rock? I said, are you ready to rock? That's a lot of energy. Welcome to the world of... YouTubers, I am Matthew Rodriguez, and I am excited to bring you into the world of Septimo Dia. Every week we are releasing a new episode, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. Who enjoyed the world of Totem last week? I'm still trying to steal that hat I wore with the leaves. Today, though, we're getting into the heart and soul of Argentina rock and roll. Septimo Dia blends the wonder of Cirque du Soleil with the explosive pop rock energy of Soda Stereo. Now, if you're not familiar with these guys, they are icons in Argentina. Like, you! It's like taking U2 and Rolling Stone and putting them together in a blender. Like, big! Fans and newcomers go nuts for this show because it immerses spectators in the band's incredible talent for symbolism and poetry. In a breathtaking display of Cirque du Soleil's signature artistry and physicality, Septimo Dia conjures a world outside of time, a place where emotions ebb and flow like the tide, pushing to the rhythm of the band's emblematic songs. 35 performers take the audience through this musical journey. The action is set on a strikingly unconventional stage, which is actually rounded and represents a planet. Like these guys have their own planet. That's what we're telling you. That's how big they are. Septimo Dia is an ode to the trio's fiercely innovative artistic approach and musical legacy. The show picks up on the wave of euphoria that Soda Stereo unleashed in Latin America and beyond and celebrates the iconic band's deep connection with its fans. Their fans are like rabid, like they are so into it. Like, YouTubers, I'm so excited. Today we have Michelle Laprise, the writer and director of Septimo Dia. Do her, get her abs in. <laughs> and then we can eat popcorn exactly. after. Exactly. We deserve it now. I'm so excited to talk to you because I really didn't know much about this show at all, and I don't know much about the band, and I know you do. So fill people in who aren't familiar with the band. Well, Septimo Dia is based on the music of Soda Stereo. You don't mm -hmm. know Soda Stereo? It's all right. I didn't know Soda Stereo at all at the beginning, but they are hugely, hugely popular in all Latin America. Think of Beatles or Rolling Stones. An interesting fact is that Gustavo is the singer. Uh, he used to have a, a sound studio where he was making the albums. And that studio was shot for the last four years because he was dead. But his sister reopened the studio and we did all the, the, the work on the soundtrack of the show in this sound studio. So, oh, we, so could it's kind of, we could yeah. feel it, we could feel it, literally. And, and I'm not talking spooky or yeah. esoteric, although I am sometimes, but I could feel it. This show is also different in that it's interactive. You actually built the show with fans in mind and they had a say yeah. in it. Tell us, tell us about that. Well, so what we've done is that one year before the opening night, there was one scene that we didn't touch at all. On the, the wall of creation was a blank space. We invited people to connect through Facebook Live. For the first session, we started with 8,000 people and after 20 minutes, there were 86,000 wow. from everywhere in Latin America, North America, Europe, and even Israel. So what, what I, I asked them, I said, let's create this scene together. And we will take you through each step of the creation process. Every month we had a session. The only thing we said to them at the beginning is that the song that we'll use is Primavera Zero, which means spring time zero, like it's a start yeah. of something. And people were saying personal stuff, they were making poems about uh, Soda Stereo, photo montage, painting. So to have this constant dialogue with the audience made us really feel that audience. Like I'm talking about a whole year before the opening night. So it was very important, and I think this has a, a good impact on why the show is connecting well with the audience, and the audience connects well with the show, because we add this constant uh, dialogue with it. Well, it's congratulations fun. on putting together such a masterpiece. And well, it's, a show it's that's really, filled with love, which is really is, what it's it about. Is, it is. Thanks so much for coming on today. My pleasure, man. Yes. Here are some fun facts that'll rock your world. Rock your world.
now it's time for one of our fan favorite acts. It's so cool, like I can't even verbalize it, so you just need to watch. Thanks for rocking this week's episode of World Of. Let us know in the comments what your favorite Soda Stereo song is, and clearly you've got to share this with any of your friends that love Soda Stereo. Next week's episode, guess what? We will get Cirque raided and take a trip to the wild side of Zumanity. What? Thanks for rocking this episode. I keep doing that. I keep, is that even a rocker move anymore? Just trying to be cool like a rocker, but I'm not. I'm more of a this kind of guy. I'm Matthew Rodriguez. Remember to subscribe to Cirque du Soleil to flip your everyday reality the Cirque way where everyone every day is extraordinary. You're extraordinary. Don't you forget it. And I'm an extraordinary host. I've been talking so much, I'm losing my voice.